Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Bill Callahan album, Dream River. Bill Callahan is a singer-songwriter who underwent a pretty interesting musical evolution throughout the 80s, 90s, and 2000s under the singing-songwriting pseudonym Smog. It was singer-songwriter music, but with kind of a strange experimental edge. In the later years of Smog, in the late 90s and 2000s, things kind of smoothed out mellowed out a little bit, really. Bill Callahan was singing in a completely different way. The songs, the melodies, the instrumentation, it was all a bit more melancholy. And it seemed like Bill was embracing some sounds coming from the worlds of alt-country and Americana a little bit more. Maybe getting into some classic Neil Young albums, stuff like that, an influence that definitely shows up on this new LP as well. Smog dropped its last studio album in 2005, with Bill Callahan kind of switching to releasing music under his government name after that. And since then, Bill has been releasing some very enjoyable albums, like the LP, the sophomore LP under his name, Sometimes I Wish I Were an Eagle, an album that featured a lot of very slow-moving folk instrumentation with Bill's very low, soothing voice gracing it. And emotionally, Bill comes off sometimes very urgent or sad, but for the most part, very, very relaxing. Lyrically, telling a lot of esoteric tales that to understand them, you'd really have to be paying close attention and dive into them a little bit. These were good things. These were interesting moves. But maybe there was such a thing as too much of a good thing when Bill Callahan came out with his next full-length LP, Apocalypse. Maybe it was a little too slow-moving to me. Maybe it was a little too uneventful to me. Maybe the stories were just a little too obscure for me to latch onto. Now, Bill Callahan's new LP, Dream River, walks down, or really floats down, that same gentle, tranquil stream with more direct lyrics and more engaging instrumental performances. I would actually say that in comparison with Apocalypse, and maybe even Sometimes I Wish, the instrumentation here relatively, is kind of lively. I feel like the album actually kicks off on a really engaging note with some really rustic electric and acoustic guitars backed up with some beautiful fiddle embellishments and some shuffling drums, all of which are beautifully played, recorded, and mixed. There are even moments on this track and, and on this album in general where the instrumentation just kind of moves in this really live, in-the-moment way where it's all kind of digging into the groove really hard together toward the instrumental break in the middle of this opening track. This actually happens and it really picks up the track for me. And lyrically, Bill seems to be singing about this very relaxed moment of solitary drunkenness, where he is singing about just kind of blankly staring at the carpet and chairs at this hotel bar. People who are coming into the bar and hanging around unknowingly are sort of spending time with him, keeping him company just by being in the same vicinity. Bill even goes further to say that the only two things he said that day were beer and Thank you. It's a, a kind of funny, self-aware, and maybe slightly self-deprecating track, and Bill vocally just sort of tumbles through this song and many on here with his very warbly baritone. On the surface, Bill's singing, especially on this album, with all of the, you know, sort of very obvious Americana instrumentation, feels very mundane and kind of dusty, but I feel like as I listen to this album more and more, and, and maybe as, as you do too, if you give this thing a listen, there's something also very warm and welcoming and inviting and uh, just so sweet, beautiful, and, and relaxing about the singing that Bill continues to bring to the table. And at least for me, that is the sentiment that prevails on Dream River, especially on the track Small Plane, where again, we have an instrumental and we have a story and we have a vocal that is incredibly soothing. We have these very gentle interjections of electric guitar playing over these slow moving guitar arpeggios and, and hand percussion. Lyrically, Bill kind of puts himself into the cockpit of a plane and talks about learning about flying early on in the track with someone teaching him, and I'm not really sure what the relationship with this person is, but to me at least, it feels like there's 
a lot of love there. Maybe not a romantic love. It's it's just the kind of love that feels like it's been there for a very long time, or at least some kind of appreciation, or some kind of long-lasting relationship or acquaintanceship, to the point where it, it doesn't need to be blatantly mentioned or talked about. It just feels like it's there. Really, this track focuses on, on the journey in an odd way. Being in this plane, learning to fly this plane, going home in this plane, lifting off, landing, having control, losing control, other people having control of you. It's it's an interesting set of ideas thrown together in the lyrics here. Things that really make me uh, just get a little emotional and kind of reflect a bit. The issue with this song and maybe a few others on here is that it feels like they end a little abruptly and, and maybe that's because Bill doesn't really write clear, concise endings to some of these tracks because a lot of them wander a bit. They meander a bit, they kind of go where they please, when they please, and just kind of follow the narrative of Bill's lyrics. And while that's not necessarily a terrible thing, it leads to these songs being either very linear or having slightly adventurous song structures. It does leave me wanting more from some of these tracks because it feels like they've ventured out so far, why end them here? Meanwhile, there are other tracks on here that instrumentally aren't bad, like Ride My Arrow and Seagull, but are maybe not as structurally built up and are just like kind of repetitive a bit. And uh, while, again, I feel like lyrically and, and vocally Bill Callahan does step up to the plate and deliver something interesting, I guess I wish the instrumentation was a little more engaging throughout. Maybe these moments remind me of, of some of the more underwhelming moments from Bill's last album, but they're few and far between. Bill actually brings some instrumental diversity to this album and some heat, I think, with some really nice flute solos, especially on the track ja ja Javelin on Landing. The instrumental diversity carries on with the track Spring, which has some watery guitar effects on the rhythm guitar. They're playing this riff that feels a little old school, a little classic rock influenced. And lyrically, Bill is kind of diving into this narrative, into this poetry, into this story about the changing of the seasons, kind of being in the midst of this transition period between seasons in spring when it looks like just hell has frozen over and the skies are gray and everything is just dead. And it's funny because on Bill's last LP, he seemed to be so infatuated and so impressed with the beauty of nature and so many natural things. And now he's saying everything is awing and tired of praise. Mountains don't need my accolades. But maybe the most chilling track on this entire LP is Summer Painter. A song that I think features some of Bill's most interesting, introspective, and, and wonderful lyrics yet. Singing about how he would paint boats, paint words on boats. Kind of comparing himself to a beaver that builds dams, like something that just does this work mindlessly, something that just does this work because there's nothing else to do, but also using these beavers as a metaphor to kind of block himself into this work, like he's not changing his life, he's not going anywhere, he's not trying to do anything other than just this kind of work. And as Bill is singing a lot of these lyrics, he's reaching into his upper register, which he doesn't do too often, and is sounding really nice and, and very passionate and convincing doing so. And then it seems that a hurricane rips through this area, and even though there is more work than ever to do, he kind of turns around and just abandons this life, saying that, I guess my rainy day came. Now again, I love that Bill reached up in that upper register of his voice. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's not that high comparatively with, with other singers, but this shows up again on the final track on this LP too, which is a really passionate closer. It feels like a really warm goodbye, even though there is imagery of, of winter in here, of coldness in here. It's difficult to put into words but there's just a real sense of finish to the warmth and beauty of the melody on this track, especially with the ascending harmonized guitar leads. This sounds so pretty, especially as Bill is reaching up into that upper register of his. Overall, th this is a really solid album for Bill. I do enjoy it more than his last one, and lyrically, instrumentally, I, I really got sucked into it. All over this album, there's just wonderfully played, dry instrumentation, really intimate setting and aesthetic, really intricate interplay. The poetic lyrics on this LP the tender, sweet emotions. I know that as someone who reviews music and, and people who are huge fans of music, it's uh, really important to kind of stay current, stay on top of trends, stay into what's hot, what's creative, what's fresh, what's new. But also, every once in a while, it's, it's great to kind of stop, 
smell the flowers and, and listen to something that is written and recorded really well and is grounded in, 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 a, in, in a long standing tradition because there's just something that is so human about what Bill is doing on this record. You could feel the blood pumping through these songs. My only real issues is that I find a few tracks to be kind of underwhelming, and overall I wish the album was a little bit longer, maybe either with a track or two, or maybe taking some of those shorter songs that I think ended a bit abruptly or sort of making them a bit longer themselves. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this thing. Transition. But if you've given this album a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Bill Callahan, Dream River, forever.